Friday, June 14th, 2024. Best picture. The year. I've got it here. Let's see. 1953. Robin Roberts, back to back. He won 1952. And now he wins 1953. He wins five pitching categories. Last, last year, 1952, he won four. So he wins five more in 1953. Looks like a better year. Most wins, 23. Most innings, 346. Workhorse. Most strikeouts, 198. It's almost like a trifecta, right? Wins, innings, strikeouts. Game started 41 and complete games 33. Robin Roberts, back to back. Philadelphia Phillies. His record in 1953, 23, 16. 2.75 ERA, 41 games started, 33 completed. I like that. Complete games. 346 innings. Did you know that Robin Roberts had one, two, three, four, five, six years in a row, 300 or more pitched innings? 198 strikeouts. He ends up with 286 wins, 245 losses. If I was him, I would have kept pitching to get to that magical number, 300 wins. But he stopped pitching at age 39. Won five games in his last year. Two more years. Pitch to your 41. You can still throw. Win seven games a year for two years. You would have had 300 wins. He ends up with 4,688 innings pitched. Robin Roberts, one, two, three, four, five, six, 20 win seasons, and he threw in a 19 win season, so he could have had seven. 2,357 career strikeouts. Hall of Fame, yes. Because for me, he went over the 250, got 286 in wins, so I like that. I don't like the 3.41 career ERA. I like guys who are in the twos. 4,688 innings, very good. I like this. Listen to this. 305 complete games. Robin Roberts. And 2,357 career strikeouts. Good pitcher. I'll put him in my top 30 somewhere. Not in the top 10. But he's, he deserves the Baseball Hall of Fame. Next video, 1954. We're going to keep going until we get to 2023. 20, Thanks. I'm out.